everybody! Ratso here from Chicago Go in Chicago, and we've got a really special show that we're doing today. I'm meeting my favorite band in the whole world. It's gonna be so cool. This is gonna be awesome. So, um, first, we're gonna find out the names of the people in the band, and then they're all gonna say the band name together. Okay, who are you? Uh, tell me your names in order of height. Oh, uh, I might be the tallest. I'm Travis, and I play <laughs> guitar. Right, Travis, Travis, Travis. Reverse order of height. Oh, reverse. Yeah, yeah, start with the shortest. Tell me their names. I'm the shortest, I'm only 5'9". I'm Georgia, and I sing and play Hi, Georgia. And the short fuses. Hi. Hi, Who's I'm the, the second. shortest fuse. I'm the next to shortest. I'm the next to shortest fuse. My name is Justin. Hello. Hi, Justin. I like your laboratory. Thank you. Thanks. I'm and the, who's the other one? I'm Tall Fuse. I'm Travis. I play lead guitar. Okay, and what's the name of your name, band? The Short, Short Fuses. Fuses. Yay! <laughs> okay, I'm really excited. Oh, you guys have a new record coming out? We sure do. It's called Dawn of the Deaf. Oh, it's from, that's awesome. It's from Rumbar Records. Whoa, my rumbar has been hurting, you know, because my back <laughs> is a little weird. So uh -huh. I have a few questions for you. Is it fun to be in a band? Yeah, what do you guys okay. think? Yes. I had the most fun in the band the last six months. Really? <laughs> Because the yeah. last six months have kind of stunk for a lot of people. <laughs> Not us. We got a new album. That's nice. <laughs> what do you guys think about how the fun of being in a band? Up you until, don't have to yell on Zoom. In 2019, it was great. Maybe, yeah. in, 20, maybe in 2021, it will be great again. We had all those shows. We had so many shows. A lot of upcoming shows, some touring, and it's then... Just a little time out. It's canceled, just a little canceled, time out canceled. Yeah. Yeah, so the, we're... Big, the big dance got canceled. Oh, that's too bad. So, are you guys friends? Yeah, yes, we're yes. friends. We've been friends we're still since friends. we were teenagers. We're since, still friends. Since the 90s. It's cool to be in a band with your friends, I bet. Yeah, it is. I know, I miss them. You can go on walks together after you jam. Movies. Well, that's... So listen. The movies. Listen, I got to tell you, when I announced that we're doing this on Zoom, we got so many messages from your fans, and they all had questions there in the chat. So I'm going to read you some of these questions. These are not my questions. I can't take responsibility for them, but I'm gonna read you these questions from your fans, okay? Okay. This is from Terry from Cincinnati. <laughs> With a name like the Short Fuses, oh, by the way, I don't know if this is Terry's actual voice, <laughs> so you're gonna to have to imagine. I also don't know how to do a Cincinnati accent, so give me a break. You just have to With say code instead of cold. With a name like the Short Fuses, I'm guessing the band must have formed after a bunch of ill-tempered hotheads came to their senses during a fight. Given that you all likely have anger management issues, who then would you say is the sweetheart of the group? Um, who is the uh, there is the what, Chris? Chris. <laughs> the drummer who's not here is definitely the sweetheart. Nice. Okay, this is from Chuck. There's no sweetheart. Yeah, That's there's okay. no sweethearts in rock and roll. I'm grumpy. <laughs> well, you guys, you guys won my heart. So this is Chuck from Saratoga Springs. This is sad. Hi, this is sad, so get ready. My grandfather is recently widowed. I'm looking to get him um, 
intimate again with the woman who sniffs all the produce. What short fuses song would you say is your most romancy? Mm. Oh, that's a good one. What do you guys think? Uh, of all time, Midway Motel. Midway Motel, or maybe uh, Corvette Summer has some romance. Yeah. Oh vibes. yeah, those are from our those are from uh, our last album. Those mm -hmm. are good romancy songs. Have you Corvette guys ever album. seen that movie Corvette Summer? That's got Luke Skywalker in it. Absolutely. Yeah. That yeah, is we wrote awesome. a song about it. We wrote a song about it. Oh, I thought it was a coincidence because you know, Corvettes and summer. Hey, here's one from Manuel from New York. <laughs> Hi, Manuel. My cat does an interesting dance whenever I play songs off your first album. It's downright adorbs. <laughs> I keep thinking I should record it. Would you be interested in something like that? Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. 100%. Yeah, we'll cool. feature it on our uh, social media. Absolutely. Okay, this is Rocco from Birmingham. If there's ever a spin-off of the short fuses called the shorter fuses, could I be a roadie for them or something? <laughs> I'd ask to be one for the original band, but I only feel worthy of a watered down inauthentic interpretation of something that came before it. It's a self-esteem thing. On that note, I'm binge, and then it cuts off. I think their self-esteem did not uh, even let them finish the note. <laughs> <laughs> so can they be the roadie if you guys have an inferior knockoff band? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. As long as he drops a few guitars. Heard. You're trying to undermine the other bands. Right. Okay. This is JJ from Duluth. Hey, I, have a I have a debate going with my cousin. He says that you should call your next album Batteries Not Included. He thinks it's ironic because records don't require batteries. They require a record player. I think it's just dumb because he's dumb. Thoughts? So thoughts has a question mark after it. Thoughts? Hmm. Ah, jot yeah, it down. I, I'm going to have to stay out of that. That sounds like a family matter. I'm going to stay out of it. I don't think it's a great name for an album, JJ, but I would consider it. I have a follow-up question. Have you ever seen the show Family Matters? <laughs> Of course. Yes. Mm -hmm. Really good. That takes place in Chicago. You guys should come here sometime. Maybe the, the Winslows would come to your show. Are yeah, we'd love to see it. That would be a dream come true. Yeah, if we could get Urkel to come out, that would be amazing. Mm -hmm. Or the Urkel bot. Maybe the Urkel bot. That'd be cool. Okay, I, I have a question. This is from Lucy from Indianapolis. Is it me? And this is Lucy saying me, not me, Ratso. Is it me, or has there been an uptick in footage of people being chased by bears? <laughs> I've seen a few. I've seen a few. I haven't seen any. I think bears have always chased people, but there's just now that people have phones in their pocket, they're starting to document it. So it's become are, more of a hot are we talking, issue. Are we talking about the animal or the gay man? Or I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. The football team. Oh, yeah, the football team. The football team. <laughs> well, I think part of the Super Bowl shuffle requires some, some light chasing. I think that's part of the third verse. Heard. So listen, I just got a follow-up from Rocco from Birmingham. Oh, yeah? Um, you guys were talking about family matters. Um, so on that note, this is from Rocco. I'm binge-watching Charles's younger brother, Todd, is in charge tonight. If anyone's interested, I don't know what that means, but I didn't want to shortchange Rocco. <laughs> oh, he was talking about them. He was talking about being an, a roadie for an inferior band, and I think he was watching uh, Todd in Charge, an inferior show. Oh. Oh. Mm. Okay. This is from Larry from Birmingham, Alabama. 
Hi, Larry. Hello, Larry. Have you ever had underwear of any sort thrown at you while you were performing live? Mm. Mm. I've only thrown my underwear into the crowd. You can't do that in you can't do that in true. COVID. Not the same. Yeah. <laughs> Have you guys had any underwear tossings? No. Sadly, no. Never? Any no. outerwear? Coats? No, just uh, beverages and ice cubes, I think, have been the main, uh, main projectiles at our shows. Okay, this one is from Nelson Mandela, and then it says in parentheses, no relation, in parentheses, <laughs> but then it says that they're from South Africa, which is weird. Yeah, that's a strong coincidence. Okay. So it says, while blank, and then the blank is a verb ending in ing. My favorite snack to eat is blank. This, by the way, is a Mad Lib. I thought it was, so, a, thought it was so, a match game. So blank, verb ending in ing. Georgia, blank, verb ending in ing. Um, while sitting, my favorite sitting. snack. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Now, what do you think? The drummer would say their favorite snack to eat is. Mm, popcorn. Chips. Oh, popcorn. 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 Well, I'm just What's guessing. It? I don't know. Circus peanuts. Okay. While sitting, my favorite snack to eat is circus peanuts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Matt, Matt lives are great. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this one is. Our fans from are so inquisitive. Well, remember we had Larry from Birmingham? This yeah. one is from, I, it says it's from Barry from Birmingham, but I don't know where Birmingham is. <laughs> what is. What is the best type of condom, comma, I mean condiment? Oh, uh, stadium mustard. Stadium mustard. It's, uh, what is it? Guacamole. Ooh, guacamole. That's a good Georgia? Fancy. That's tough. Um, I like salsa. Salsa. Okay. <laughs> what's, well, also, what's your favorite? Mustard kind of, was already taken. What's your favorite kind of comma? Favorite kind of what? Comma? Like a comma. Uh, oh, my Ox favorite kind of comma. Oxford uh, for me. I hear you. A lot of people don't like that. Controversial. Can I say semicolon? I, I mean, think you can not. say semicolon. Okay. That's also hard to use correctly. I like the full on colon. I want the full colon experience. That's definitely not a comma. <laughs> Does the, uh, Michael, so, so the, the Michael Crichton book most, count? That was the most controversial answer of them all. <laughs> <laughs> So dumb. <laughs> okay, this one is from Paul from Long Island. Hey, Paul. Oh, I wonder if it's Paul Stanley. I hope so. Okay. I assume. What's up? Let's listen to the question and then we can decide if it's him. Okay. Do you find any songs performed by the Dickies to be annoying? If so, which ones and how <laughs> annoying? <laughs> um, I would say my first reaction would be no, but if I had to choose one, it might be Silent Night, the Christmas song. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can't that's answer. Their, that's on their white vinyl, Sound of Silence, 7-inch. Oh, I forgot the Sound of Silence is on the other side. Yeah. Maybe, that, maybe just both of them. The whole thing, the whole, yeah. The whole release. The whole, the silent release is not cool. No way. So annoying. Okay. So take that. That Does that answer your question, Paul Stanley? If it's, if well, it's he, in all caps, it might be Paul Stanley. Well, the next one says it's from Stanley from Long Island. <laughs> so this one might be him. <laughs> Fill in the blank. Girls blank records. That's all I need. Mm. 
Mm. Well, Stanley. Um, they're they're well known for scratching records. No, no, uh, girl. No, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm gonna read the punctuation. <laughs> Girls, comma, blank, comma, records. It's a list. Oh, three things. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's not a oh, bad real answer is girls make records. Girls, something. Comma, make, comma, records. That's confusing. Yeah, that doesn't make sense when you have the punctuation. Hmm. Well, he wants, I think Stanley's asking um, what three things are like, are all you need. Like, girls, blank, or, and or it could be like it could be like an SAT thing. Guitars. <laughs> girls, guitars, records. Oh, uh, that's all I need in life. <laughs> Her. Okay. This would be, that's a really tough one for Motley Crue. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, don't need just, the, yeah. they don't need the records. <laughs> they could just or do blank. girls, girls, I think girls, girls records is good. More girls. <laughs> okay. Um, here's the last one from a fan. This is very weird. This is from Ace and Peter. And it doesn't say where they're from, but it's in crayon somehow. They sent a gif of a crayon. Okay, what are your favorite type of fans? Uh, uh, I prefer electric fans. Ceiling? Okay. <laughs> Georgia? I like the kind that you can snap out of your purse and then fan yourself with. I've seen you do that. Yeah, just, oh, yeah. you know, whatever it is. But not okay, those so, underwear, not those underwear throwing fans. Well, you know what? I don't like to, to throw my underwear during COVID crisis, but I am a fan of yours. And I'm really glad that you guys are a great band. I can't wait till things get better so I can throw things at you. I can't wait to listen to your album. I've got one more question. Well, I got it. It's a two-part question. Part one, do you have a message for the kids out there? Please buy our new album, Don the Deaf, so we can all go to camp next summer. <laughs> all right? Save the Rec Center by buying Don of the Deaf. It comes out October 23rd. Well, that's a good day. Yeah, it's meaningful. Mash it up. Okay, my last part of the same question. Would you guys play some music for us? Oh, sure. Oh, I happen oh. to have my bass guitar right here. Yeah. So the kids can dance at home. Yeah. Okay, who's gonna count it off? You go ahead and count it off. Okay, one, two, three, four. <laughs>